this might be too soon to say it, but I freaking told you, I freaking told you all. So now, I never done this type of analyzing video, and I really been watching this trailer over and over again. I need to analyze this trailer as a way to like rewatch this so many times because I feel like I'm not done with rewatching the trailer. Okay, so it seems the trailer starts with like an icy environment. It seems to be some sort of ice kingdom. It could be some sort of ice world based on Mario 3 or any of the Mario platformers. It gives like a little glimpse of Bowser's ship. It seems to be that his ship is just a giant floating kingdom that works with lava that propels it up, makes it float up. The way a giant Bowser head is just in front of it, it really seems to represent Bowser's castle in the Paper Mario games because a lot of the Paper Mario games have that similar design for Bowser's castle. Other Mario games do kind of also do the same giant Bowser's head for his castle in other games, but I don't know. The way it's just a giant floating kingdom castle thing, it reminds me a lot to Paper Mario 64. I like how the giant spike ball seemed to work like an anchor, like a pirate ship anchor. Like Bowser is just going to this kingdom, invading it like some pirate. This looks like doors, so it seems that's the way in into that giant Bowser kingdom. Here's a way bigger shot of the entire thing showing how giant this floating flying castle kingdom is compared to this tiny ice kingdom. There just seems to be a lot of other Bowser eyes. Maybe it represented the way it looks with the two glowing holes. That could be like entrance and way out. There's like lava going out with that. Okay, there's like a Bowser head all the way in. I mean, it's like hellish. This is what Bowser's world is. It's just lava everywhere. Like it reminds me to the map in Mario 3 where it looks like it was just freaking hell. It seems that would shot just quickly skip through a different shot where all the Koopas just got out and they just were marching, getting into position. These two Koopas on the front seem to be the ones that have the wings. It seems there's two Koopa Paratroopas. I really like how they just have an armor and a spear. It seems this could be an inspiration for Paper Mario, the way Koopas look on that game. Behold, the king of the Koopas! I really like the voice that Kevin Michael Richardson gave to Kamek. The animation of Kamek just walking a little bit, like just moving his feet real quick. I don't know, that's just funny. I can tell that the Koopas are having like a... They are giving them a very comedic personality while also being like funny soldiers. I can see this one Koopa on the left. He just get distracted when he sees Kamek spawn. He's just looking around. Okay, here he reveals better the colors of these Koopas. There's green shell Koopas, red shell Koopas, and so on. Here's a first look at Bowser just walking in between the fire like somebody pointed out that this looked like Bowser in the Smash Bros. Melee opening. This really resembles Bowser like he really is like a being from hell surrounded by fire. Here you can see like all the army of Koopas I noticed. They seem to have bullet bill cannons or whatever that could be. It most likely is bullet bill cannons. I really like this little detail, this is like a really cartoonish gag with a turtle character just hiding half of his face inside his jail because he's scared and there's like this other serious red shell Koopa that some people have pointed out they could be a higher up so he has an eye patch because I guess they look badass. I better look at Bowser's face. So far Bowser is the one that looks the most identical to the games. Open the gates! <laughs> I do not. I finally found it! Now who's gonna stop me?! Jack Black pulled off Bowser really good. This is interesting. So these are the penguins from the Mario games. In a lot of Mario games, there's been penguins everywhere. Ever since Mario 64, there were penguins. In a lot of the Mario games, there's penguins of different sizes, but these ones are just all the same size. But what is interesting, like, there's a king penguin. I was wondering if they are gonna have new characters and 
here it is, a king penguin. When the king penguin gives the call to attack, this penguin on the right just have like a little derp face, whatever, with the eyes. They're still giving little comedic gags here and there. And when all the penguins are just charging in, <laughs> the king penguin just smiles thinking, yeah, this is gonna work, yeah, they shouldn't mess with me. This king penguin was so confident, he thought snowballs could be the way to defeat him. Okay, so like this penguin in the middle just get closer to the camera and I guess eats it. One of the penguins is like making a snowball real quick. That's a lot of skill to make a snowball that quick. They really kept the design of the penguins from the game where they have like a little pointy thing behind their head and these designs are clearly faithful to the game. This is basically the first joke where he just tried to imply that all the penguins are being so badass fighting but then suddenly nah nah <laughs> no it's not working this is just awkward <laughs> it lands well this joke really lands well i'm starting to notice a little mario humor they are creating over here and i really like it i notice here bowser is just staring at the one snowball that hits him and he just doesn't care <laughs> You can tell by his expression, like, this is so pathetic and awkward. As soon as one of the penguins bring the catapult, I can see the penguins are like nodding and being like, hell yeah, this is gonna work, this is gonna teach them the catapult, bring the catapult, that's gonna work. <laughs> but it doesn't, they miss and it just hits a different Koopa. I noticed something, when it hits this one Koopa, in this shot, he's surrounded by like purple smoke. When Kamek first appears, he also appears with like purple smoke, like that's the color of his dark magic, I guess. From the looks of it, I think Kamek just spawned this Koopa over here just to get hit. <laughs> I don't know why he did that, maybe that's just to show that Kamek is just a jerk. I like how when the Koopa gets hit, his spear shoes stand still, start spinning, and then she's about to fall down. The other red Koopa with the eye patch that was shown before, he clearly just checks in, he even takes out his eye patch, which implies, yeah, he doesn't have a damaged eye, he just have the eye patch to look cool. There's a blue shell Koopa over here. It can be seen that he has spikes on his shell. Another shot of Bowser's face laughing. People said that this face right here, he looks like Jack Black apparently. I don't really see it myself. I like how people are noticing a resemblance, so that's funny. I always wonder if giving lip syncing to Bowser will be even possible, but here like it is really easy to just do it. Like he can say that oh, like do, do not. They animated his lip syncing very well. A lot of the details of his skin and everything can be seen more closer and this is like a very mega high quality Bowser model. It still looks extremely identical to the original modern Bowser. I just noticed now that Magic Koopa has on his wand like the little triangles right there. This could be after Bowser destroyed the entire kingdom because in this shot the King Penguin is right there behind Magic Koopa but then the King Penguin is right there as well. It's very likely they just mix different shots because this always happens on trailers. They always mix different shots to not show continuity or whatever, to not spoil what's really going on. If you look closer, you can see Magic Koopa's eye. It seems they also model him his eyes, which can be seen a little bit, and I think he has like a little evil expression. And when Magic Koopa uses his wand, there's a little symbols. I think it can still be seen a little bit the triangles. I only see a lot of triangles. I don't see the squares or the circles, but they should be there somewhere around. There's like a little frame of Bowser just feeling his mouth like he's about to <laughs> puke out fire, but yeah, he just spits out fire and the frames over here are pretty neat, like kind of funny, but also they're really nicely animated. Comparing this to how Bowser shoots fires in the game, it makes Bowser in the games look bland. This looks more intense, more menacing, more fucking dangerous. This scene really shows how powerful Bowser is. All on his own, he managed to destroy almost half of the entire kingdom. I really wonder if this power star is gonna be similar to the power star in Mario 64, where there are like a source of energy. 
or they're gonna be like the invincibility power star. Maybe the movie is going to clarify that stuff, maybe there could be a difference. I finally found it! From what Bowser is saying, it seems he's been collecting or trying to find power stars for himself for higher power. It seems like the story could be something around that Bowser wants higher power and he wants the power stars to become powerful and just dominate everything. That's clearly a thing he will do. It's, it makes a lot of sense. Jack Black Bowser, amazing. The animation and lip syncing for Bowser looks fucking great. A lot of his expressions are like a mix of evil, scary, menacing, yet funny and goofy. But like you could laugh, but also you want to stay away from this fucker. <laughs> so far it's been speculated that the Mario theme that is her here is very similar to the intro of the Super Show. Here's a first shot of how Mario ended up the Mushroom Kingdom. It seems to show a pipe that is in the middle of a big old ancient ruins building thing. This is like the first lock of Mario. Here's a better shot of the construction thing where the pipe Mario came from. There's like a star on top of it. The star also appears on the door of the Ice Kingdom that Bowser destroys. So there seems to be a little continuity here with the stars because it appears that there's just stars everywhere. So I guess the little star symbol there seems to represent like, yeah, this is a kingdom that we protect our power star, I guess. This phase is just so new. I still think I gotta get used to it, but I still love it. It still looks like Mario. You can clearly see Mario wears like a shirt. He doesn't wear like a turtleneck shirt, which I think people were saying that they wish he had, but it's fine. He makes kinda a lot of sense. They're trying to give him a more realistic look. Nintendo really hired that man, and that man was Illumination. <laughs> you can see Mario still has a dumpy, so they didn't nerf it. It's just the perspective on his shirt that makes him look like he like ants, but don't worry, he has ass. It can be heard a little piano rendition of the Mario theme, like a slowdown. He's using like little notes from the original. Here's this bigger shot where Mario looks around, there's a lot of floating islands with mushrooms and rivers. Here's a further away shot from Mario, there's just mushrooms everywhere. And here's a better look at whatever that construction ruins thing is where Mario came from. Mario's expression right here, he looks fucking good, like it really made Mario very expressive right here. And it's just really funny face they give him. I'm sure they're gonna give him a lot of really funny faces from how he reacts to certain situations. Here's a first look at Toad and he looks exactly like in the games. The only difference I'm noticing is just the mouth and the eyes. They gave him like little meat eyebrows, I don't know. But it's still fine, like, I don't wanna see Toad with eyebrows. That uh, might look weird. I noticed that Toad's head kind of wobbles a little bit, which could imply that his head, his mushroom head, is actually detachable. Maybe it's just a hat then. Also, Toad have teeth now. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Keegan Michael's keys, Toad, is great. I was expecting Keegan Michael Key to do an accurate Toad. It still can be heard a little bit. The <laughs> voice, but it's still much better, honestly. I could imagine. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! No, <laughs> no, this is much better. When Toad warns Mario to not touch the mushroom or he will die, I think he's making a reference to the poison mushroom. I can see how Illumination gave that little smear, bouncy, squishy movement to Mario. So they really are going far away with their animation style that they're used to. So it's really nice to see Illumination doing some animation that is more innovative. I like this one little frame with Toad just looking calm. You can tell, that's Toad. That's straight up Toad from the games. Exactly the same. Also, again, the same thing they do with movie trailers. They cut from an event to another event. Here Mario is, is still standing, but here he's already in the ground. So it's very likely like some other stuff happened. Maybe Toad tells some other stuff to Mario. It's so weird to see Toad with the eyes closed. What makes it weird is just the details on his eyes. That was never done. It was just a line and that's it. But I'm okay with this. It's not creepy. 
you can see from far away to the right there's like a little tower construction thing that looks like to be the same building at the end of a Mario level. This one shot of Mario standing it just looks so good. I cannot get over how good Mario looks. Here clearly from far away there's the Toad Town that was shown from the first poster. This seems to really imply the Toad that was seen on the poster is guiding Mario just like he's doing it right here. Mushroom Kingdom here we come! I'm okay with Chris Pratt doing Mario and how he's on so far is alright, I'm not complaining. Some people are pointing out that he has a little Brooklyn accent, I don't see it, maybe because I never lived in New York, I never heard New York, Brooklyn, whatever accent. I'm probably gonna notice more an accent, but so far I'm fine with this voice, I don't complain, like... Again, I don't mind Mario being voiced by somebody else. Yeah, it's just Chris Pratt voice, but so what? It's voiced by somebody else. Other characters have been voiced by different people. Sonic has the same case too. I'm fine with this. I love how you can see Toad. He's just like, after running a little bit, he stops and looks back. Mario getting there, and then he keeps going forward. The way they animated Mario here when he runs, I think they give a lot of attention to make him run exactly how he will on the games, but more realistic and more cartoonish and animated. This whole shot of the Mushroom Kingdom is beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. I I fucking knew that Illumination could do something amazing like this. They're always done really good visuals and this is the best visuals I've ever seen from Illumination ever. I don't know, this feels like even Pixar levels of amazing visuals. And here's the logo, the Super Mario Bros movie. It looks like the font of the Super and the movie seems to resemble the original Bob Hoskin 93 Mario movie logo. It can be heard this orchestra version of the Mario theme. It seems Luigi is on his own here from the test screening leak Apparently it described that Mario and Luigi were separated from the star, so it's very likely that this is where Luigi ends up after Mario is already in the Mushroom Kingdom. From the looks of it, Luigi seems to be like on a dark, creepy woods that looks similar to the opening of Luigi's Mansion. There's been always creepy woods in Mario games that resemble that area where the booths are, um, the boo mansion and whatever. It's possible that this is where Luigi is. Also, he's being chased by a bunch of dry bones. One dry bone is like crawling through the fucking tree like a fucking spider or something and that's goddamn creepy, honestly. One dry bone has like little more angry evil look I can see like they're doing that fleshy bone thing where they make their bones being like more squishy so they can do more expressions I guess. Here Luigi can be seen going through like an old castle. It seems to be on ruins and it's just surrounded by lava. It's been speculated that maybe Luigi is in Bowser's castle. I don't see that. He probably is on just some creepy woods and there just happens to be a castle. Also I can see right here one dry bone falls down. His head just comes off just like in the games. Dry bones are like that. Here's a better look at Luigi. She's trying to close the door between the freaking dry bones. I don't know how he can hold the strength to do that, but whatever he ends up, I'm really hoping that he actually ends up on like a Boo castle or mansion and then there's King Boo and we have a little Luigi mansion moment I guess with Luigi just trying to face some ghost. And that's it, only in theaters April 7. I'm so looking forward for this movie. This movie looks so good, I'm so glad it's real, I'm so glad everybody's really excited. The only complaint I see is Chris Pratt, but please give him a chance, give him a chance. People say that, no, it should have been Charles, no, somebody else should have been instead of Chris Pratt, then who? Who should have been instead of Chris Pratt? Because they were never gonna pick Charles, unfortunately, I feel like, I don't know. I was just saying like, they're trying to go for a more different style and so far the style they're going even with the voice cast is just good, it's just really fun. I really believe this movie is really gonna be a really fun experience. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, no. <laughs>